what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video it is time for our fourth tier list of the week today is the starting shooting guards i've done the small forwards we've done the power forwards we've done the center so uh, our second to last one is the shooting guards let's go ahead and get right into this one before we get into this video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. Again, I am recording this on July 26th. So if things change, if Donovan Mitchell is traded, then obviously ignore that part of the video. But I am pre-recording this. You're not going to see this probably till like August 4th. So I will be out of town again in New York. So here we go. Uh, starting shooting guards tier list for the 2022-2023 season. Once again, I have literally made every single one of these tier lists. There's not a single updated tier list out there, so make sure you guys drop a like on this one. And I think they're posted now that maybe you guys can use them as well if you want to. If you like doing tier lists, but regardless, uh, let's get started. Terry Rozier as your starting shooting guard. I think it's safe to put Terry Rozier in B tier. We might change that. We'll see. There's a lot of talent at the shooting guard position, just like the small forward position as well. I mean, there's a lot of talent everywhere, but I don't know. Maybe this gets tough. Jalen Brown, although he feels disrespected at the time I record this because he's in Kevin Durant trade rumors, I'm going to throw him an A tier for the Boston Celtics. Might change it to S, who knows. Again, Donovan Mitchell, who knows if he's going to remain in Utah, but I think it's fair we put him in A tier. He is a A tier shooting guard. Definitely like that. Kevin Herter got traded to the Sacramento Kings, and I like it a lot. Him next to De'Aaron Fox should be a lot of fun. I'm throwing B tier. I think he belongs to a guy like next to Terry Rozier. Lonnie Walker. For the Los Angeles Lakers, I am going to throw him in C tier uh, just because I'm not sure I want to throw him next to Rozier and Kevin Herter just yet. And kind of same thing with Devin Vassell and the Spurs. So uh, maybe the Lakers plan on starting somebody else this year guard position. Maybe they get Buddy Heald or, I don't know, Eric Gordon or something like that. So this could be ignored. Maybe Lonnie Walker is a bench shooting guard and there's someone else I should be putting here right now. And I'm just dumb, whatever, but I got him for the Lakers. Tyrese Maxey. I'm going to throw him in A tier as well. I think he's got the same potential as these two guys right here. Maybe he's not on the same level as them just yet, but he could definitely get there. Same thing with Desmond Bain. I think Desmond Bain could be that kind of guy as well. If there was like a tier right under like these two guys, I would probably put them there. But for now, I'm okay with just putting them in the same tier of uh, shooting guards. Uh, Chris Duarte, I'm going to throw him in B tier. I think uh, he's proven himself a little bit and I do like his game. Uh, him and Kevin Herter, or him next to Kevin Herter and Terry Rozier, I think is fine. Bradley Beal for starting shooting guard positions. Not saying that uh, he, I don't know. Do I throw him an S tier? I think I do. I think I throw Bradley Beal an S tier. I might change that. I actually might change that. Maybe he's A tier. We'll leave him an A tier for now. I might change it. Who knows? Seth Curry, uh, I think he belongs in B tier. He's an above average starting shooting guard. I think he's very solid. Zach Levine, do I want to throw his, uh, see, I don't know who I'm going to be throwing an S tier. So if I look real quick, yeah, I think I'm okay with Zach Levine and S tier. And I think I'm okay with Bradley Beal and S tier as well. I think there are S tier shooting guards. So I'm okay with both of them being there. Okay, so for the Dallas Mavericks, you could make an argument this should be Tim Hardaway. But it sounds like it's going to be Dinwiddie and Luka Doncic starting together in the backcourt. But I could be totally wrong, so don't quote me on this. And like I said, feel free to correct me if any of this is wrong, if you disagree with uh, any of it. But I'm going to go with Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, I'm going to go B tier. I think Dinwiddie is solid, and he was very good when he got to Dallas. And Washington, not so much. But when he got to Dallas, I got, I like B tier. And then same thing for KCP. I think he's the perfect fit for what the Denver Nuggets need. I'm okay with putting him B tier. Anthony Edwards, I think he's going to eventually solidify himself as an S tier. But do I want to put him there yet? Maybe not. I'll throw him an A tier for now. I think Edwards is going to be the S tier shooting guard, though. I love his potential, to be honest with you. So Anthony Edwards in A tier is fine for me, at least for now. Uh, Herbert Jones, I'm going to go B tier. Uh, he was fantastic as a rookie, played fantastic in the playoffs, great defensive player. The fact that the Blazers couldn't get him in the CJ McCollum trade triggers me every single day, and the Pelicans still have him. But regardless, going B tier for him. Paul George, S tier, no doubt in my mind. Anthony Simons, I think he, see, like, I like Simons, and I think he, I'm going to put him A tier. Maybe there should be a tier underneath like Jalen Brown and Edwards and Mitchell because I'm not sure I would say Anthony Simon is on the same level as these guys, but like they're all great scoring shooting guards if you get what I'm saying. So I kind of like the same thing for Josh Giddy in a way at A tier and then same thing for Jalen Green. So got a lot of potential. Maybe I should be bumping some of these guys up to S tier. Maybe I should. We might do that. Grayson Allen, uh, you could argue that this is Wesley Matthews or you could also argue that Chris Middleton plays shooting guard, and then Bobby Portis is the power forward, which puts Grayson Allen off the bench. But for now, I'll put Grayson Allen as a B-tier 3 and D shooting guard. 
Same thing with Gary Trent Jr. Very, very solid. DeJounte Murray, I'm throwing an A tier next to Trey Young. I like him a lot next to Trey Young. I'm very, very, very excited to see how that's going to look. Uh, so I'm okay with that. Karis LeVert for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm going to go B tier on top of that as well. Karis LeVert's always been very, very solid. We always thought he could maybe develop into like some kind of star. Uh, but he's always just been a really solid role player. And that's okay. We need those as well. Uh, Evan Fournier, uh, compared to the rest of this list, I mean, I feel like Evan Fournier is a B tier shooting guard. I almost threw him in C, but I think that's unfair. Jaden Ivey, I think it's fair. I think it's unfair to judge him just yet. So I'm going to throw Jaden Ivey and leave him off the list for now. I think uh, we'll have to see what he looks like in the actual NBA, but I'm pretty sure he'll be probably B or A. Jalen Suggs, based on what we saw last year, I'm going to go C, but I definitely think he has the potential of being higher than that. Devin Booker, S tier for me, no doubt in my mind. Clay Thompson, I'm going to go S tier as well, simply for the respect of what the man has gone through and what he looked like coming back from injury. He still is very, very solid. And then Tyler Hero, I think I'll throw him at the bottom of A tier for now. I think I don't even know if Tyler Hero is going to be the starting shooting guard for Miami, but it sounds like he wants to start. He's not been traded yet, so I'm going to throw him at the bottom of A tier. Okay, so I think I want to revise this a little bit because I'm not sure I like Anthony Simons on the same level as some of these other guys. So I'm going to go Brown in S tier. I'm going to go Donovan Mitchell in S tier. And I'm going to go Edwards in S tier. Maybe I like that a little bit better. So Maxi Desmond Bain. Every Simons, Josh Giddy, Jalen Green, DeJounte, Tyler Hero. I think that's fair. I don't know. Let me know what you guys' overall thoughts are on the shooting guard tier list. Do you agree with this? That should Edwards, Mitchell, and Jalen Brown just be an A tier and we call it good? Or should I slide? Or should it be slid even further? No, I feel like it'd be so... I don't know. I feel like they'd be so disrespectful to call like Seth Curry, Dinwiddie, like C tier players. You know what I mean? So I'm okay with this. Maybe you do slide it. Let me know what you guys' overall thoughts are on the shooting guard tier list. Uh, I think this is posted to the tier list makers. If you want to make this on your own, go ahead. Definitely feel free to do so. Uh, but one more tier list tomorrow, and then your boy should be back in town Monday. Uh, back to your regular scheduled programming. But thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.